Hey guys! What's up, Pirates? As always, it's Lucas. And Nolly. Today, we have a lot of fun things to discuss, such as... Seniors are going to visit Cuesta, a reminder about the Starfish Education Fund. As well as tryouts for the Dance Fusion team, sports updates, and prom ticket info. Attention Cuesta-bound seniors, the Cougar Welcome Days field trip is happening on May 9th from 11.45 to 2.15. On this day, we will take Cuesta-bound seniors to Cuesta to participate in a priority registration event. Students will have the incredible opportunity to meet with Cuesta counselors to design their student education plans and to enroll in their fall classes early. They will also be meeting with their advisors in their chosen area of study and will have the option to connect with other specialists at a resource fair. In order to attend, please have your guardian fill out the permission slip found on Parent Square and be on the lookout for Quest's event registration form on the Class of 24 Google Classroom as well. In order to join, you will also need to have finished the Quest of Promise steps up until where you are asked to register for classes. Pirates, next week is Mental Health Awareness Week. There will be events from Monday to Saturday. On Monday, wear green to school to show your support for mental health. On Tuesday, there will be flower grams and chalk art in the quad at lunch. On Wednesday, there will be canine therapy on the football field and plate breaking in the quad at lunch. Come out to get a little puppy love. On Thursday, during nutrition, there will be coffee and hot cocoa. And a picnic in the quad at lunch. Then, on Friday, there will be rock painting in the quad at lunch. And tea and a mindfulness seminar in room 502. And finally, on Saturday at 11 a.m., there will be a walk to remember Nick Bixler by walking his favorite path. Meet at the Back Bay Loop Trail in Los Osos. That, those sound awesome. I'm looking forward to them next week, especially puppy therapy. Hey Nolly, did you hear about the fundraiser we're doing on campus? Yeah, we're raising money that will allow children in Uganda access to education that they normally wouldn't be able to get. That's awesome. What a great way to make a difference in the life of another kid in a different part of the world. Be on the lookout for donation boxes in your classrooms. I'm excited to see how much we can raise this school so that they can get the education that they rightfully deserve. Next up, we have some dance fusion information. If you like to dance, perform, choreograph, and attend performance field trips, then be sure to mark your calendars. Monday, May 6th, Dance Fusion will be having their auditions for next school year. The auditions will place, take place from 4 to 5.30 p.m. in the dance room located next to the athletic trainer's room. Come to the auditions in workout attire. All dance levels are encouraged to attend whether you're a beginner or an advanced dancer. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Smith, the counselor and Dance Fusion director in the office. Hey Lucas, perchance do you like music? I really do. What kind of music do you listen to? Well, lately I've been listening to a lot of Wham! and The Flaming Lips. I love the Hamilton soundtrack, but right now I've been listening to more funk. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, let's go to the rest of Moravia High School to see what they listen to. Good afternoon, what is your name? <laughs> Samantha Stem. My name is Hero Riddell. Leif Jellstrom. Oh, Ben. What is the happiest song that you can think of? The happiest song I can think of is Dead Inside Shuffle by Lewis Cole. E.T. by Katie. Oh, it is.
Um, Oppie Day by Lil Mabu. <laughs> oh, Oppie Day by Lil Mabu. Yeah, it's more gum Wow, those were great recommendations. Yeah, I love Lil Mavu. Anyway, now we'll send it over to Michael with sports. Hey Pirates, it's Michael. Last week, our swimmers competed at the Ocean League Championship meet at Santa Maria High School. Both the girls and boys team won the meet and brought home Ocean League titles for Morro Bay. Great work this season, Pirates. Good luck to all our athletes who are competing this week at the Section Championships in Sierra Pacific High School. Boys tennis playoffs finished with Jackson Hansen, the 2024 Ocean League champion. Denzel Ebrio and Danny Cordes placed third in doubles and will represent NBHS in the next round of playoffs. Good luck. Our track and field athletes are heading to Lompoc High School today to compete at the Ocean League finals. Good luck to everyone competing. Next week, qualifying athletes will travel to Kingsburg for the Division III Section Championships. Here is two, inter two interviews with our softball and baseball players about their recent games this week. Who am I here with? Caleb Calhoun. Aiden Hunt. And what sport do you guys play? Baseball. Baseball. And what are you guys' positions? I play center field and leadoff hitter. I play third and I pitch. And how do you think this season's going so far? It's going all right. I mean, we have a new coach. Just some growing pains with the new coach, but I think we're going to be good in playoffs. It's going a little rough, but I mean, we're getting through it, but we have a couple, we have three more games left, so yeah. And are you guys planning to play baseball after high school? Yeah, I'm going to be a preferred walk-on at Fresno State, yeah. Yes, I'm still deciding. And what hopes do you guys have for the rest of the season? Hopefully we can make a deep playoff run, hopefully win CIF, but if we get a good seed in playoffs, we can make that happen. Yeah, pretty much what Caleb said, make a CIF and just make a good run for our last year. And are there any shout outs that you want to give to the team? Uh, shout out Bob Botello. Shout out Emmett Wilson and Timmy Taylor. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay. Who am I here with? I'm Alina Pianalto. I'm Ava Panyan. And what sport do you guys play? We're softball players, play softball. What is your role for the team? Uh, we're both captains, and I play shortstop, kind of anything that they need me to be. <laughs> um, I'm also a captain, and I'm pitcher. And what is you guys' favorite thing about softball? Uh, the support, the girls, and just being out there on a daily basis. It's, I don't know, I enjoy it. I just love the, I love softball. I've played my whole life, so I just, I like it. Um, I like the adrenaline of the game and the competitiveness, and I just like being out there, and it's kind of like, even though it's a team sport, it's kind of, you're in your own mind, so you get to do what you want to do. So just having that and growing from that is really fun. And you said that you've been playing your whole life. How long have each of you been playing? Uh, I've been basically playing since I was eight, nine years old. I've been playing for 10 years now. And how do you feel the coaches support your team? They support us a lot. They are there to just help us out whenever we need it. They're to make us grow and teach us new things. They're just there to help us out and we've just every year we've gotten a lot better with their support. Um, they're good. They try really hard and they're nice coaches. And how do you think the team has done this season? Um, from the beginning it got it was pretty rough honestly, but it's gotten much better as the game's gone on. We've learned a lot more and we've just came together as a group and just grown and like cleaned up the field and got it. We just got the game going. Um, I think all the girls that are brand new and coming out just for fun have really improved. I think they kind of, in the beginning, were just doing whatever they could, but now they really know what they're doing and they show it, and so I'm really proud of them for that. And I think the returners have just gotten really well because they know what they're doing. Yeah. And are there any shout-outs for anyone on the team? Vina. Um, Cassidy and Julia. Okay. Thank you, girls. Great to hear from them. Boys Golf is gearing up for CIF playoffs as well. They will play at Lamorque Golf Course next week in the Division II Championships. Good luck, guys. That's all for sports this week. Back to Nolly and Lucas at the desk. Thanks, Michael. There are a lot of sports going on right now. Right? 
Anyway, attention juniors and seniors. Prom tickets are on sale right now in the quad this week at lunch. Tickets are $55 per person. Grab yours before they sell out. Remember that prom contracts must be filled out before purchasing a ticket and are available from Ms. Stover's desk in the office right now. Since we're on the note of tickets and events, the films that you have created for the film festival have been submitted. Your films are now going through the initial judging process to be selected as a finalist for each category. Finalists will be announced in next week's broadcast. Remember, the film festival is held at the Morro Bay Theatre on Monday, May 13th from 6 to 8 p.m. That will be the week after next week. Tickets will be sold at the door for $5. I'm so excited to see all of your films. Me too. Anyways, that's all we have for this week. See you next week. Bye, Pirates.